Hello to everyone today. My name is Sister Eleanor. I'm a member of the Teo community of Interfaith Franciscans. And I just want to welcome you today to our evening prayer. Thank you so much for being here. Instead of, I borrowed this from Sister Elizabeth, instead of actually having a candle lit today, we're going to have this lit today. This is that beautiful angel. Okay, that's all sparkly. And ha is actually holding within her hands a dove. All sparkly, you can see. It's like a bluish color, her gown is. So I thought that was appropriate. for today um, to have an angel holding a a little dove because today in the United States here is Mother's Day and we're celebrating Mother's Day all throughout the country so I'm glad that everybody is here today and I also want to wish a happy Mother's Day to all of those in other countries that may not be celebrating today but um, a wonderful Mother's Day to all of those women who are mothers and uh, actually physical mothers and also mothers of people and little fuzzy babies and everything that they nurture along the way. So let us start now with a short prayer for peace. Heavenly Father, comforter of our hearts. Heavenly Father, mother, comforter of our hearts. I ask you to bring peace into the world of humanity to eliminate all armed conflict and the suffering caused by them, and to give the people of this planet, planet abundant harmonious love for one another so that together we can prosper and be happy. In deep gratitude, I thank you for the coming peace. In Jesus' name, amen. So I want to also read, instead of our usual poems that we have. I want to read a poem today for Mother's Day. My, it's called My Mom. A halo that reflects a life of wisdom, kindness, and caring. Eyes that sparkle with pride and show how much she believes in you. Shoulders that have been slept on and wept on and carried a world or two. Arms that never run out of hugs. Hands that show just when to hold on and when to let go. A mind filled with amazing things from fairy tales to family tales and long ago stories of you. A smile that can jump right into your heart and warm you faster than hot chocolate. A heart of gold that holds more love than you can possibly imagine. And that's a poem by Anna J. So now let us put ourselves into God's presence as we always do before we begin in earnest our prayer. Today is May 10th. It's the sixth week of Easter, heading into the beautiful time of Pentecost when the Holy Spirit descends upon all of us throughout the world and brings us a fresh indwelling of God himself. O oh God, come to my assistance. O oh Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first psalm that we have is the usual psalm that we always have on Sunday. And it's Psalm 110, which speaks of the Messiah as king and priest. The antiphon is, God raised up Christ from the dead and gave him a place at his right hand in heaven. Alleluia. The Lord's revelation to my master, sit on my right. Your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power. Rule in the midst of all your foes a prince from the day of your birth, on the holy mountains, from the womb before the dawn I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath that he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. 
the master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his wrath. He shall drink from the stream by the wayside, and therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <clears throat> Almighty God, bring the kingdom of Christ, your anointed one, to its fullness. May the perfect offering of your Son, eternal priest of the new Jerusalem, be offered in every place to your name, and make all nations a holy people for you. The antiphon again is, God raised up Christ from the dead and gave him a place at his right hand in heaven. Alleluia. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we continue with Psalm 115, which we duly praise the true God. So this is a wonderful psalm to praise God. The antiphon is, you have been turned from faith to in faith in idols to the living God. Alleluia. Not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name give the glory. For the sake of your love and your truth, lest the heathen say, Where is their God? But our God is in the heavens, and he does whatever he wills. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. They have nostrils, but they cannot smell. With their hands they cannot feel, and with their feet they cannot walk. No sound comes from their throats, and their makers will come to be like them, and so will all who trust in them. Sons of Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Sons of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. You who fear him, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. He remembers us and he will bless us. He will bless the sons of Israel. He will bless the sons of Aaron. The Lord will bless those who fear him, the little no less than the great. To you may the Lord grant increase, to you and all of your children. May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth he has given to us. The dead shall not praise the Lord, nor those who go down into the silence. But we who live, we bless the Lord now and forever. Amen. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Father, creator and ruler of heaven and earth, you made man in your likeness to subdue the earth and master it, and to recognize the work of your hands in created beauty. Grant that your children, thus surrounded on all sides by signs of your presence, may live continuously in Christ, praising you through him and with him. The antiphon is, you have turned from faith in idols to the living God. Alleluia. Well, we just prayed that prayer uh, about... Um, man subduing the earth and mastering it. I would like to really mean that this prayer is talking about all of us being good caretakers of the earth, not subduing it, mastering it for our own needs, but actually taking care of the earth. So that is our prayer, that we may be good caretakers of the earth. And also I want to make a mention about idols with this Psalm talks a lot about idols, and years and years ago, yes, people had idols, and maybe some people do today. Um, but I also want to say that the idols that we really speak of are the idols that we make for ourselves. Um, that may be money, prestige, power, fame, 
all those things that possibly could mean more to us than God. So let us really look at maybe what idols that we have created in life and what idols that we have put first instead of God. So that's really for today, especially what this psalm talks about. So let us now continue on to the canticle from Reve Revelation, which speaks of the wedding of the Lamb. And the antiphon is, Alleluia, salvation, glory, and power to our God. Alleluia. Alleluia, salvation, glory, and power to our God. His judgments are honest and true. Alleluia. Alleluia. Sing praise to our God, all you his servants, all who worship him reverently, great and small. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is our all-powerful God and his King. Let us rejoice and sing praise and give him glory. Alleluia. Alleluia. The wedding feast of the Lamb has begun, and his bride is prepared to welcome him. Alleluia. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The antiphon again is, Alleluia, salvation, glory, and power to our God. Alleluia. Now we have a reading from Hebrews chapter 10. Jesus offered one sacrifice for sin and then took his seat forever at the right hand of God. Now he waits until his enemies are placed beneath his feet. By one offering he has forever perfected those who are being sanctified. Our response to this is, the Lord is risen, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord is risen, Alleluia, Alleluia. He has appeared to Simon, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is risen, Alleluia. Alleluia. Now we come to that period of our prayer, our evening vespers, where we pray the Canticle of Mary. And today, let us remember all of the women everywhere, especially the mothers. And as I said, mothers that have indeed given birth, and also mothers in other senses, where they have nourished children as teachers as nurses, as doctors, in so many capacities. And all of those who have adopted children and are caretakers of children in any capacity. Our antiphon is, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word and my father, mother, God will love him. We will come to him and make our home with him. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God who is my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed, and the Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers and to our mothers, to Abraham and Sarah and to their children forever. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus who is our teacher and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And the antiphon again is, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him. We will come to him and make our home with him. Alleluia. And now, dear ones, as we move forward in our prayer this day, 
thanking God for everything that has gone before us this day, for all the blessings that we have been given, for this beautiful day that is still occurring here in the United States, for the beautiful Mother's Day that it is. It's a very warm day here. It's around 81 degrees Fahrenheit. We ask God's blessing on all mothers this day again and on all women everywhere. And let us continue our intercessions and pray for one another. God, the Father Mother, raised Christ from the dead and exalted him at his right hand. Let us pray to our Father Mother God, saying, Through the cosmic Christ in glory, watch over your people, Lord. Righteous Father and Mother, you lifted Jesus above the earth through the triumph of the cross. May all things be lifted up in him. Through the cosmic Christ in glory, watch over your people, Lord. Through your Son in glory, send a fresh infilling of the Holy Spirit upon everyone in the world, that, we may, that it may be a sign of a sacrament of unity for the whole human race. Let us pray. Through the cause of the Christ in glory, watch over your people, Lord. Lord, you have brought in a new family into being through water and the Holy Spirit. Keep us always faithful to that road that you have laid out for us in life and bring us all to everlasting life. Through the cosmic Christ in glory, watch over your people, Lord. Through your exalted Son, help those who are in distress, free those in captivity, and heal all of the sick, and by your blessings give joy to the world. Let us pray. Through the cosmic Christ in glory, watch over your people, Lord. We ask, Lord, that you extend your hand over every person that is with us today. All this family that is gathered here before you over the internet, no matter where we may be, may we, may we be here in the United States or abroad in, in um, the UK or anywhere else in Europe or anywhere else in the world. We ask that you gather us all together. You extend your hand of blessing over each and every one of us and give us our needs this day. Only you know what it is that we need deeply in our hearts. You who are the seer of all hearts, who see everything that is within us, things that we dare not even say to others, even to our closest friends. So Lord, we just commend all of us today to you and we surrender everything that we have to you today so that you may bless us indeed and give us joy in your presence. Through the cosmic Christ in glory, watch over your people, Lord. You nourish our deceased brothers and sisters. On a daily basis, you give them all their needs. Now raise them up at the last day. Through the cosmic Christ in glory, watch over your people, Lord. I pray for Brother Sean and Brother Rob, that they may be filled with your blessing and peace and be made whole in mind, body, and spirit, and that their home, the monastery, is a total blessing to everyone who enters it. Let us pray. Through the cosmic Christ in glory, watch over your people, Lord. I pray that each and every person that is here today is a total expression of joy that they may have joy in their hearts and happiness and peace. Let them feel your joy, Lord. Let them feel your peace and happiness that only you can give. Let us pray. Through the cosmic Christ in glory, watch over your people, Lord. We pray today for mothers who have given us life and love that we may show them reverence and love. We pray to the Lord through the cosmic Christ in glory. Pray for us, Lord. For mothers who have lost a child through death, that their faith may give them hope and their family and friends support and console them. Through the cosmic Christ in glory, we pray to you, Lord. For all of our mothers who have died, that God may bring them into the joy of his kingdom. We pray through the cosmic Christ in glory. We pray to the Lord.
we also, with Brother Sean, hold both uh, myself and Elizabeth and all of our pets. Not, of course, forgetting Chewy and Hootie. Chewy's making his appearance by barking. I'm sure you can hear all that. So we just pray for all of them, pray for each other today. And through Christ in glory, watch over your people, Lord. We pray with Brother Sean and thank God for our monastics and divine service and for all former members. Through the cosmic Christ in glory, watch over your people, Lord. With Brother Sean, we thank God for all of our pets, especially the joy the four chickens are showing us each day. Yes, that Brother Sean, I'm sure as you know, has these new little chicks and a new hen, and thank God for um, these little chicks who give so much joy just by their very being. Through Christ in glory, watch over your people, Lord. And also with Brother Sean, we thank God for this channel, which allows us to connect each day in Franciscan joy. Yes, we pray that through the Cosmic Christ in glory, our channel may continue and we may continue to be able to meet here together. Watch over your people, Lord. We pray for our Earth Mother Gaia today, or Mother's Day, that she may nurture all of us, continue to nurture all of us, and we in turn may continue to be good caretakers of her and nurture her in the proper way. Through the cosmic Christ in glory, watch over your people, Lord. And with Brother Sean, we also pray for myself that I continue to make a good recovery and also to be strong, as well as um, Elizabeth. And we thank you for that, Brother Sean. And through the cosmic Christ in glory, watch over your people, Lord. I also want to um, just say to you and thank you, thank God for everything. And I want you to do the same if you would like, just as a, as a for instance, today, just to make this a thankful day, just to thank God for everything that you have. We may need and we may want certain things, but there are so many things that God has given us already. And I talk about this, I guess, a lot about the small things that we do that we're able to even be on here together on the internet, that we're able to um, smile, that we're able to eat a lunch or a breakfast or a dinner without any help from anyone. Anything that you can do, even if it's a small thing, giving a smile to someone else, that you can actually use your facial muscles to do that. Thank God for that. Start with the small things. And every day you'll find more and more things to be thankful for. So let today be a day of thanksgiving, of thanking God for everything that you have in your life. Let us pray. Through the cause of Christ and glory, watch over your people, Lord. And now I have a period of silence where you can just listen to this music of the nuns singing Gregorian chant and just offer to God whatever's on your heart. Praise God. Through Christ and glory, watch over your people, Lord. And now together, let us come in a circle of love and light and pray the Our Father, Mother God. Our Father, Mother God, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespassed against us. And please lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For yours is the kingdom, and yours is the power, and yours is the glory, now and forever. Amen.
our concluding prayer is, Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion all of these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relive in remembrance, we may also hold on, hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son and our Teacher, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us. May the Lord protect us from every evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And our final blessing for the day. A loving God, as a mother gives life and nourishment to her children, so you watch over every single one of us. Bless all of the women of the world, that they may be strengthened as Christian mothers, as mothers of every faith, as mothers not only in actuality, but as nurturing women throughout the world. Let the example of their love shine forth and grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with a spirit of profound respect. Grant this through the cosmic Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, thank you for being here again with me this day and praying together. As I said, let this be a day of joy and thanksgiving. Just let it will up in your hearts. Take a few minutes today, even if it's just a minute, to be quiet. And just to say thank you, God. Like Brother Sean says, the shortest prayer, a three-worded prayer, thank you, God. So do that this day. And do it every day. And, you know, you may find that joy will just well up within you. And Thanksgiving will just well up within you. And maybe your day will be a little lighter and a little brighter, as they say. So thank you for being here this day. And God's blessings on you. And namaste.